Welcome to Tech Brothers Dhamma. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, one very common error, actually, and very annoying error uh, that's happening, uh, especially when uh, you are done with some uh, upgrades or sometime actually Windows patches are run. Uh, so you are running tons of SSIS patches, they are run, running just fine, and then you perform some patch, you know, and uh, after that, uh, what's uh, happening, uh, you are getting this error. In um, uh, SSIS package execution, if you go to the reports here, you are seeing a pending execution. So you all SSIS packages are going into the pending execution. Uh, so some people call it my packages are frozen and uh, they are in stuck in a uh, pending execution. Some people just, you know, have that some uh, different uh, way to express that. Uh. Anyways, uh, the other way when uh, that happen uh, sometime what the people do, they will be just like, oh, let me create my new SSIS package. Uh, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to deploy that. Um, so once uh, they start uh, working on that part, they also get error. A network framework error occurred during execution of uh, user define routine or aggregate deploy project underscore internal and the error is a required privilege is not held by the client when deploying SSIS package so these are uh, two errors and there are some other errors you might uh, encounter with the same issue so if your packages are stuck you are not able to execute your packages you are not able to deploy your packages uh, errors can be different uh, but I will suggest you to apply these changes to me or make sure uh, these uh, things are done first uh, before you even uh, contact uh, uh, Microsoft or you even uh, go right uh, searching blogs and all those kind of things uh, uh, maybe you know it depends there could be possibility there could be any other errors as well but uh, majority of time on the uh, that step I'm gonna explain here they will be resolving your problem now what happened uh, uh, often uh, those uh, uh, group policies are altered on up, uh, upgrading or patching and that's where it caused the problem now what uh, will let me take you to the ssms here and these are all the steps uh, you're going to take first of all what you need to do you need to uh, have sql service account and agent account so there are two accounts uh, uh, you you have or maybe you have single account which are running in the both services so your sql server is running and then you have an agent account so these are these both accounts have to be added for the server on which ssis is running now first of all what you will do here you will go to the windows or so you're going to go to search button here so right there go to run and then you're going to type scc uh, pul.msc that's uh, your security uh, policies uh, tab is going to open that uh, and uh, once it's open it uh, you're going to look for these things uh. so see right here these are the uh, six things that you need to make sure your account is part of these uh. so which account uh, so think about in this scenario this is my sql account right sorry this is my sql server so if i need to check like oh uh, where my ssis db is uh, if uh, any which account is running sql server so how i find it so you're going to click on start button here then you're going to navigate to the sql server folder and then here let's say sql server 2019 you're going to go right there sql server configuration manager once you go there you're going to go to the uh, right here SQL Server Services and right here you can see that I have a SQL Server and I have two instances actually so just uh, look for this one um, if look for whatever the instance name you have okay and uh, you can see that uh, login as that's the account I'm talking about so you're gonna take this account name and then uh, you're gonna look for SQL Server agent and also see the account in some of the scenarios let's say in my scenario I have been using the same account here, but in uh, some scenarios, companies, uh, you will see for SQL Server installation, people have used a different account and for SQL Server agent, they're using different account. So they note down the both accounts. If it is the same, good. If it is different, note down both of them. And once uh, is you have them, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the that policy, sccpul.msc and now you're going to open this page right there okay once you have that you're going to go through each of them so the very first thing you are going to look for act as part of operating system so you're going to go to local policies here and then you're going to use a rights and uh, user rights assignment that's where you're going to click and then you're going to look for the policy called act as part of operating system so act as part of operating system see right there and uh, double click on this and then you're going to add user 
both users one which is used for sql server and other one which is used for sql server agent in my case my account is same so click right there and then you're going to look for the account let's say if it is your domain your domain name whatever then um, sql account you know whatever the name is just provide that and it it will get uh, in my case it is my uh, account that's fine i can check my name and then just hit okay and it will say show me oh it is already there you know or you can apply okay so that's what you're gonna do that's the first act as part of operating system second login as service so, so look for so you can press l after clicking anywhere login as the service and uh, right here so you're gonna go ahead and add that as well. So right there, so in my case, it was amir.shazad. So I'm gonna search for it, add it, and uh, hit apply, hit okay. Now I'm gonna go for the next one, replace a process level token. So replace a process level token. Add user here. So you are gonna be good here and hit uh, apply and hit OK. Now you're gonna look for bypass transverse. So, so press B and bypass transverse so check in. And here you're gonna add the user. So in my case, uh, again, I'm saying I'm, I'm using the same account for running the SQL Server service and for agent. But in your case, if you have two accounts, separate accounts, add both of them. Okay, hit apply. And then again, we are gonna adjust memory coda. So look for A adjust memory coda okay here add user hit okay and then you're gonna go uh, impersonate a client after authentication and here you will be adding that as well okay so you got it like I made sure there is single account for SQL Server service and for SQL Server agent, add that single account. In case um, there are two different accounts, add both of them for six of these policies. Uh, once you are done, uh, your work is pretty much, you're getting closer. Now the next setting what you have to do is uh, you have to go and make changes to DCOM permissions. Um, here on the SQL Server machine, uh, you're gonna go to the Windows R and then uh, type this. Um, so you're gonna go to the run uh, and then a dcom config so you're gonna go right there run and paste it there okay and hit okay and the, what's gonna happen it's gonna open a, a tab like this so. and here under the see right there you're gonna go to the left pan right here and then uh, you will be going to the component uh, right here services and uh, use this carrot and then go to the computers and in the computers my computer and then uh, you're gonna go to the component services window so let's expand this a little bit dcom config node so you have right there and it's going to open all that okay so let it open and then what you're going to look for you're going to look for microsoft sql server integration services installed so you're going to look according to that now there are so many uh, so you're going to go sql server integration services right so sql look for sql okay so it is the uh, let me expand this a little bit more so we should be Microsoft SQL Server, I believe that's what it is. Yeah. So we have Microsoft SQL Server, yes. So I missed that, I should have right Microsoft SQL Server integration. So see here right now you have 11, 12, 13, 4, and 15. So depending on your version, so if you are using, uh, let's say 15, uh, 2019, you're gonna go right there. If you're using an older version, you're gonna go according to that. So whatever your version is, that's where you're gonna go. And once you go right there, and in this case, let's see, you have that, and then you're gonna go to the properties. So in my case, I'm gonna right click here, and I'm gonna to go to properties, and here I will go to security, and these are the three things we need to take care of it. So see right there, right click and choose the properties, and uh, then you're gonna add, uh, edit this one, and uh, then here you're gonna add that as well, okay? So you're gonna add that account, the same account uh, what you have added there for your SQL Server, and uh, agent, I will go ahead and actually add both of them, okay? So just uh, give some permissions. I'm gonna show you what permission you need to give. Uh, let me see right there, and hit okay. So you're gonna do edit as well, and add this user here as well, and then uh, go for next one, and then keep going for this one, 
and then you will do the same thing and uh, hit OK. Now, once you are done with that, uh, so here are the things what you are going to do. Under security, you are going to launch these and add SQL Server account and uh, then uh, you will be, I will provide you all these steps here, okay? So then uh, you're going to, uh, local activity activation remote activation for this account okay so that's what you're gonna do right there so you're gonna go to permissions and so it has to be added in all these three sorry so right there okay so you're gonna go to properties and then under the properties uh, you're gonna go to security and uh, it has to be added for all these three okay so once you add those accounts here as well you're all done you should be good to go and uh, the last step of what it need, uh, you have to restart the computer. Not restart the SQL server, restart the computer. So that's kind of hard. Sometimes you are dealing with the production system and uh, you don't have uh, like, oh, I can restart right away. So you have to schedule some time for that. Uh, so these changes can be done maybe on the Friday evening. And then uh, once uh, that's done, you can... Uh, um, Restart the computer and uh, you should be good. Your packages should be running just fine. In case uh, your packages are, uh, you know, uh, they uh, like a, if they are not running, it's a production system, then you have to re reboot right away, you know. So what uh, I will suggest to you, go through these all steps. Uh, make sure, uh, and uh, many times I see that uh, even uh, it's written here. I see people like miss that. Oh, like, oh, let me do this. I don't really need it, this one. So they will not apply there and uh, then uh, what happened it will keep getting the same error so i will suggest you uh, apply the policy level permission for all these policies and also do the decom it sol it will solve your problem and in case it does not solve the problem then you might have some more detail error that you want to google and try to find out some help thank you very much and uh, what i will do i will put this all the details in the description so you can take from there and uh, uh, try out and i hope this will help